Today, I'm with Pete Consigli, who has dedicated his life to the betterment of the restoration industry. And Pete is involved in producing an upcoming event that everyone should know about. It's called the Andrew Ask Building Science Winter Break 2023. Pete, I hope you're doing well. Hey, Jeff, thanks. Uh, and thank you to Clean Facts and uh, all the platforms and the opportunity to talk about this event. Look, as many of you know, Clean Facts last year uh, in uh, 20, well, this year actually, 2022, uh, supported, was uh, one of the key media sponsors for the AML Winter Break and Mold Symposium in Florida. AML and the Andrew S. Building Science Symposium made a deal. It's on our website, Climate Zone One. O-N-E, not, not the number, O-N-E, climatezone1.com. And um, they made a deal in the even years to do a building science uh, symposium under the Winter Break brand on uh, the Gulf side of Florida, the other side of Alligator Alley, as we say in the Sunshine State. And then for the, um, uh, in the even years, when the mold assessors and remediators, when they need their uh, renewal for their licenses, we're going to go back and on the other side in the Fort Lauderdale area, Deerfield Beach, that area there, Boca Raton. So it's kind of a, a deal. Now, here's the main thing why people should come. What we're trying to do, they have two different core audiences. The mold one are the mold assessors and remediators, which covers the whole cleaning and restoration gamut and the IAQ people. This building science event, which has been going on down here for many years, but not under this brand, was uh, the audience are. HVAC contractors, mechanical systems people, uh, architects, the AIA, you know, that's their certification, and the high-end home builders here. And they need to know and understand building science. Um, but I also think that they need to, you know, network with mold assessors and remediators. At the same time, the mold assessors and remediators, who doesn't want to be in a room, right? <laughs> To be able to be with builders and architects and HVAC guys, you know, people that who have a mutual need. So that's a big reason to come. But maybe the most important reason to come is the content, because without great content and great speakers, nobody nobody really wants to go. Everybody likes to network. They like to, you know, have some dinners and do all that. But you got to have content. We got it. We got Dr. Joe Steebrook, who's been coming down here for years. He's now on a panel called the Building Science Pioneer Panel. It's going to be terrific, Jeff. We're going to set the stage up like the Tonight Show <laughs> and basically bring them out one at a time. Dr. Joe and um, uh, uh, um, uh, Gary Nelson from the Twin, Dr. Joe's in Boston. Anyone who does building science knows who Steve Rick is. Then we got uh, uh, Gary who uh, Nelson who does uh, the blower doors. He's a brilliant man from the Twin Cities, does uh, uh, pressure differential and all that. Another gentleman named Neil Moyer, who's very well known in Florida. I haven't seen him in quite a few years from the summer camp days. Very highly regarded. He mentors a lot of the new young building science people coming up in the trades. And then um, John Tooley, he's retired. He's a national treasurer in the building science community from South Carolina. He's going to roll out some new information. And, and the big suppliers are trained, Mitsubishi, Santa Fe, which is part of the Thermosaur uh, Madison, Wisconsin group for this industry. Uh, and then all the usual suspects, there'll be Tramex and Sunbelt, and hopefully John Don, Fiberlock, um, Micah Meter, we've got commitment from all of them. So it's very multidisciplinary. There are going to be people there from the HVAC industry, the cleaning and restoration industry, the, the, uh, um, the NACA, you know, those kind of guys from the HVAC. Um, the, it, uh, the two days has already been approved for IICRC continuing education and RIA certification. and the ACAC, which a lot of the people that come, there's going to probably be about a half a dozen past IEQA presidents. Andy was one. My signature close is always be there or be square. Be there January 24th, 25th, and the post-event workshop. And if you're there in person, good food as well. Right, Pete? Unbelievable. And, uh, oh, one last thing. Talk hurry it up. Hurry it up. We're having a meet and greet at the Boston Beer Garden in central Naples, and not too far from the hotel on the first night. And uh, some of the suppliers, I'm hoping they're gonna, they'll sponsor great, great food. And we're trying to meld some of the, the newcomers and the next generation, the younger guys, with some of the older and the veteran guys who've been around a while. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of events going on. And we're, um, 
we're very happy to be able to put this on 